Hi everyone, this is Joel Kennedy with Kennedy Violins. Now today's video is just a quick video on the best places to buy a violin online. Now obviously at Kennedy Violins, we sell violins online, but you don't have to buy a violin from us. And the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, it's in our best interest, you know, being members of the string community, that people have as high quality violins as possible, right? Because it just benefits the entire violin community and it's really good for the next generation of players. So I just have a short list, it's like six things that I think if you look for these characteristics and in a place that you're buying online that you will probably increase you know the probability that you're going to get a pretty decent instrument now the first thing on the list is to make sure that the company is owned and operated by string players so this is a big one and the few companies that i know who are actually selling good instruments online they they pretty much all have the the same uh, characteristic you know they're owned and operated by string players so when you call up you're going to talk to somebody who's intimately knowledgeable of all of their violins and they've probably played them all and they know what they sound like and and you know because there's nothing worse than just you know calling up a place and it's just somebody who you know they're just reading off a cheat sheet or something like that they, they, they don't play the violin they don't really know what they're talking about and they're just kind of answering product information or whatever so and especially this is especially important if you're buying maybe a more expensive violin because then they can actually you know they can pick out a few violins and they can play test them and they can ask you what are you looking for in a violin do you want a dark sound big Big sound, sweet sound, you know, what, what kind of, you know, color do you like? I mean, you know, you know, so they can ask you a lot of uh, questions and find out exactly what you're looking for as a player. And then they can actually play test the violins. And if they have good customer service, then they'll be happy to do that for you. Okay, so the second thing that's really important is you want to make sure your violin is completely set up and ready to go. It's ready to play. You don't want to have to set the bridge up or put the strings on. That should all be done by a professional luthier. So when you call a place up, you know, they've got professional luthier or luthiers on staff and they're sitting there putting the violins together, doing the final inspection. And it's really important that that's done in America because some places, especially with the inexpensive violins, you know, the violins are being set up in China, you know, and so the quality control might be some issues there. And then, and then the, the time between when they set it up and you get it could be a lot of time, right? Because it has to go on a container ship, go across the ocean, and it has to be stored at a warehouse and then another warehouse then sent to the retailer and they got to ship it to you. So by the time you get your violin, it's a mess, right? So you want to make sure that they have a luthier staff there and they're completely setting up your violin so it's ready to play when it arrives at your door. Okay, so number three is, uh, I think, pretty obvious. You want to make sure that they have at least a 30-day money-back guarantee of some sort. So here at Kennedy Violins, we have a 45-day money-back guarantee. We have a lifetime warranty on our instruments, and we don't have any restocking fee if you send something back. So I think that's pretty important because, you know, obviously you want to buy from a company that, you know, stands behind their product. So I would just always ask that. So number four is a pretty good characteristic of a lot of places, especially if you're buying a more expensive instrument. And that is, do they have an in-home trial program of some sort, right? So a few places will have an in-home trial program, mostly for their, their nicer violins, right? So let's say you want to, you know, try out more than one violin. They'll send you, you know, one or two or three violins or whatever, and then you can, you can play test them against each other and figure out which one that you like. And if you like one, you keep one and you just send the others back and they make it really easy uh, for you to do that, right? So I would, I would just ask them, especially if you're gonna get more expensive instrument, do you have an in-home trial program? Okay, so number five is very similar to number one, actually, and that is you wanna make sure that they sell only stringed instruments, right? If you purchase from a store where they sell trumpets and trombones and drums and stuff like that, well, you've dramatically increased the probability that you're not gonna get a violin that's set up very well and it, it might be in pieces or you'll get it and the strings aren't put on properly or the pegs don't stay. You, there could be a myriad of issues. And then if you have to call or you have any problems with the instrument in the future that they won't really be able to help you out and so you want to make sure that they only sell stringed instruments you want to make sure that that is their area of expertise 
Oh, and by the way, you wanna make sure you like and subscribe the video. I'm creating a bunch of content these days, so if you like this kind of content, just hit subscribe, a little alert bell, and uh, you'll get notified every time I make another video. Okay, so the last thing, number six, that I would advise you to do uh, would be to look at the reviews. Of course, people are pretty used to doing that these days, um, but uh, you wanna no not only look at their Google reviews and their uh, Yelp reviews, but also check out their Better Business Bureau reviews, right? And what I would suggest is don't just look at their score, right? Because they'll have be a score like, you know, A, A plus, B, F, whatever, right? But you wanna look at how many complaints they've had. Because if you are registered with the BBB and you're paying them, you know, um, you could have a pretty good score, but you could have a lot of complaints at the same time. So you wanna do a little bit of digging. Just, you know, click on the link that says, you know, view, view uh, their cases or view their um, their complaints. And sometimes you'll find companies that have, you know, really good rating like A plus or something like that. But then you find out they have a whole bunch of complaints, you know, that they've resolved, right? But you don't, you don't, if you wanna be dealing with a company obviously that doesn't let it get to that level. You want them to have a really good attitude of customer service where the customer is always right. So they never let it get to the point where the customer is so angry that they're going to the Better Business Bureau and <laughs> leaving you know negative views. Okay, so that's about it, guys. I hope uh, these top six things helped out. And uh, like I said, if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, with that, I'll uh, bid you adieu and you have a great day.